Salute, 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 man. You already know it's your boy Stony Rock Star back at you with another official jump off, man. This shit about to get ugly real quick. It's store soft. Know what I'm saying? Nigga came out his cell. Know what I'm saying? And came and said some slick shit to the homie. He just got to the block. This nigga talking shit already. Like he coming in there and he doing XYZ and he need to get put on. And as soon as he said that shit, the homie already tight because, know what I'm saying? Some some hot shit happened to somebody in his family. He just got off the jack. He tight already. He mad and shit. He mad, mad, mad. This nigga just come. This came in the house. The homie that came over. The villain just came over there and just went in his fucking cell. Know what I'm saying? Pulled this shit out. Came down the stairs. This nigga still talking shit and just bing blam. This nigga in his fucking throat right here. Boom. Just hit this nigga, bro. This nigga just start going like, oh shit, like what the fuck up, nigga start hitting him, nigga start running, you know what I'm saying, the police was like, yo, what the fuck is going on, you know what I'm saying, so he ran over there to the police, the police is like trying to stand in front of the, yo, back up with that shit, you know what I'm saying, she had a little hard, usually they just get to the fucking side, she just sprayed and hit the homie, the homie banked up, you know what I'm saying, fucking bitch, you know what I'm saying, ran over there, chasing this bitch around the shit, the motherfucking one in the bubble opens the motherfucking door, you know what I'm saying, and the bitch ran through the gate, Open the door and shut that shit. The homie came out the gate and tried to get inside the bubble. He had lost his motherfucking mind. Like, I'm like, bro, we get money in this house. You got certain niggas that's not getting the top dollar. And like I said, niggas is like type angry because they not getting the top dollar. Because remember I told you in the beginning, everybody was happy to just be eating. You dig what I'm saying? And then niggas realized niggas was getting real money and it became unsettlement. You know what I'm saying? In the fucking house. And niggas really want to get put on. And I can't put everybody on. So some niggas is trying to fuck up the flow for everybody that's getting bread and getting mad about some shit that happened to to his family member or some shit like that. Something happened on the phone. This nigga got off the phone and banged that shit. He was mad and shit. This nigga just came in the house talking shit. This nigga trying to impress a motherfucker like he really need to get down. You know what I'm saying, man? Because we keep... Neglecting him and, and rejecting him, you know what I'm saying? But he not ready to go down there. He don't even know how to maintain and really put in that motherfucking, that, 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 that drug dealer frame. You dig what I'm saying? So we wasn't really trying to really elect him to be an official ambassador in the Tom Cross Heroin, you dig what I'm saying? Organization, because we ain't feel this nigga was ready. You just bang niggas out. You, you smoke good. You do whatever drug that you want. You eating good. You ain't got to ask your family for nothing, nigga, but you trying to make big dollars, but you, you ain't really worth that type of energy, because you don't really know how to really get down, because you one of them niggas that be playing a lot in, in the dorm, and, and doing all that shit like that, I don't fuck with niggas that play games, if if I'm somewhere, and we chilling, and you my boys, don't play with me, I don't, I don't, I don't want nobody playing with me, we always serious, we about making dollars, we about making money, it ain't no playing games, you dig what I'm saying? I don't be around no jokey joke nigga. Now, you do have niggas up north that are natural comedians. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? When you around playing and all that shit like that, I can't fuck with you. Because I can't take you serious. You know what I'm saying? So this nigga just banging this nigga out. He just made shit hot. They just came in. You know what I'm saying? Took this nigga out. You know what I'm saying? He trying to impress a nigga, but I'm not impressed by foolishness, man. I'm impressed by motherfucking niggas really with the mind game to get money and chill out, man. And you making shit hot. Now you mad and shit. And you doing goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Talk about yo store and going to the box. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, 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 come see me. You know what I'm saying? Something like, yo, this nigga think, you think that now because you did some shit like that, that I'm going to put you down? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make it happen for you and get you abroad and shit like that, nigga, the best thing I'm going to do for you is this, when we come to the box, after you go in there, we're going to find out where you went, when we pushing the coast to bring the motherfucking food, we're going to hit you off with some motherfucking drugs, and you're going to sell that shit for, to the niggas that's there, and you're going to monitor these niggas to make sure that these niggas make sure that shit get there, and you know what I'm saying, unless we have to do some bullshit and niggas is not eating, you know what I'm saying, go back to that type of energy. Know what I'm saying? 
So at the end of the fucking day, it's always a way to get at a motherfucker. So that wasn't it. That shit made hot. They locked us down. We back to, to, to stage one and two. You know what I'm saying? That type of energy. I'm like, the fuck is going on with these niggas, bro? These niggas is bugging the fuck out. You already know. So the next thing we know, you know what I'm saying? We bring in a couple of... You know, the apes and shit, the fuck with us on the mess hall. You know what I'm saying? Cause them niggas over there getting money and, and it's all love. You know what I'm saying? So now, it got a couple of villains down there. You know what I'm saying? Feel like, yo, it's supposed to only be us. But I'm like, bro, we fuck with them niggas. Them niggas is getting money with us. They be on down on the visit. You know what it is. You know what we do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a G-Mac. You, you wilding out right now. Don't, don't start that shit. We all good. You had... Beef with the apes in the house and they, 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 they put it on you, you know, this is nothing personal. This is gang war. No one says nothing personal. No one saying so just chalk that shit up. This ain't none of these niggas, the niggas they put in work on you. No one saying so just you gotta relax. You dig what I'm saying? So we going G Mac man, get this motherfucking money. You dig? So this nigga, he ain't trying to listen to that shit. So he heard one of the apes and shit talking about, you know, they remember when some was in the house. I'm saying, damn, why the fuck did he say that shit? Because the villain is already, already tight and you about to fuck up the whole flow. But if niggas going to act up, then your niggas go ahead and do that. Because I'm not, po not about to fuck up my spot where I'm able to make moves and move around and make money. So your niggas go ahead and shake out. So these niggas is in there. This niggas say, yo, are you talking that hot shit to me, nigga? You talking that hot shit? Talking about that shit? Yo, come up in the motherfucking shit where the, the camera is a blind side. These niggas, it's the beacon. If you ever been to the beacon, they got a big ass room in the fucking, and when you go to the mess hall, got a little area right here where we sit and we eat, whatever, and then you go in, they got the bubble right there, then you, they got the um, police mess hall right here, we feed them, and then they got the box courts where we take the box court and take them to all, all the other houses and shit, you dig know what I'm saying? So these niggas in that room, you know what I'm saying? Niggas pull out a fucking knife. Right, this nigga, he got a razor. These niggas is like, yo, back and forth, back and forth. Niggas is like, come on, my nigga, what the fuck is your niggas doing? Your niggas gonna shake or you gonna waste time? You gonna get it on what? Know what I'm saying? Some niggas just start popping off. Know what I'm saying? The motherfucking villagers came and just rushed this nigga. The nigga ape dipped to the side. He kind of skipped and the ape blazed, blazed on um, the villain. Boom! This nigga got blazed. Yo, this nigga, this wild, this rush, this nigga, um, tackled him and just start banging the ape, banging the ape, right? So the other ape is like, nah, niggas is like, nah, let this shit be between them. So the ape came out of that shit and pulled the villain over, know what I'm saying, and got up off him, know what I'm saying, and blazed him real quick and then tried to get up on it and them niggas is back to square. Whoa, both of these niggas is bleeding, both of these niggas is huffing and puffing, shit is getting crazy, niggas is wilding the fuck out, so niggas come back and clash one more time, but now the CO start to hear the, 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 uh, marks where the, where you can hear the motherfucking, uh, uh sneakers and shit. That type of energy. So now they come in and niggas told niggas to chill. Niggas said, fuck that. You might as well just get it in now. Know what I'm saying? Like, cause the police, you niggas is already bleeding. Get it in. So niggas, the police right there, niggas just came back again for a second clash. Know what I'm saying? And the motherfucking ape grabbed the villain. Know what I'm saying? They start cutting the nigga, right? Boom. Now the motherfucking villain got the name, but he can't really get no traction to really Get like that, cause the nigga got his arm like that while he cutting him and he stopping the embrace of the cut. You know what I'm saying? So he let him go. The police come rushing in that motherfucker and they don't even waste no time. They come and spray and shh, shh, niggas is gone. So we gone. We all the way to the other motherfucking room where they got the dishwashing machine and shit. You take what I'm saying? We out of there. You know what I'm saying? We trying to get the fuck away from that spray. So, we just hear these niggas wildin', police coming in, niggas drop they shit, you know what I'm saying, put their hands behind their bank and get the little plastic cuff shit and they take niggas out of it. You know what I'm saying? So then now they like, yo, they gonna take it out on us. So now they come search us, shut shit down, search us three days, you know I go, skip past that shit. Then the other crazy shit happened. You dig what I'm saying? 
Motherfucker, niggas is in the motherfucking hallway, right? After niggas come from the motherfucking courts, niggas is in the hallway coming back, getting ready to go to their motherfucking house. A nigga seen somebody that was in the bullpen with him that he was hoping that was on the bus and shit. The nigga had came through, got on the bus to go to their house, right? So the nigga's like, oh shit, yo, I've been waiting for this because he was in the other bullpen. Nigga said the nigga was in the other bullpen, so when he got on the bus, niggas got off. Niggas is going back to the beacon, going to their respective houses and shit. You know what I'm saying? How they pull niggas out, niggas trying to get back to the house. Yo, see yo, come on, man. Get me back to the house. They trying to be there, here or there. Cause you, 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 all right, you and it. Okay, let's go. So niggas is going back. Niggas got the motherfucking little brains on them. And niggas like this because he know if he go back to the motherfucking house with the ape, he, he going to get... Mean the fuck out. So he was a 550 in the ape house. So the nigga, you know what I'm saying, came and tried to blaze the shit out of the ape. Caught the nigga coming from the back like this. Boom. Right. The ape turned around. So now he know once he, he's not staying in the house. You know what I'm saying? So now the ape came and was like this. Boom. on this nigga. This, this ran up on. Then the other apes came and punched this nigga fucking head. The nigga had the wall. Boom. Right. The nigga fucking dropped. The nigga took the razor from the nigga and started making tic-tac-toe in his motherfucking face. This nigga just was cutting this nigga every fucking way. Right? This wilding on this nigga. The CEO was like, yo, my nigga, you got to chill. You got a fucking G, man. What the fuck is you doing? Bro, you pull out the spray. Yo, stop. My nigga, stop. All on these niggas. You know what I'm saying? So niggas is like this now. And niggas is like, yo, and still trying to you know, cut and whatever the fuck down, nigga, mad. He, niggas want to jump the CO now because you fucking, you know, spraying that shit. And the shit is getting fucking crazy, right? So the motherfucking police come there. We get held up in the motherfucking hallway just watching that whole shit through the motherfucking gate like there. And they close that shit. We just watching that whole shit. Going on. We see niggas coming back. We pushing the motherfucking court. You know what I'm saying? That shit just went down. We was like, oh, shit. So now we got to wait. We wait like a whole hour till they clear that shit out. We go trying to go down the hallway now because the motherfucking spray is in the motherfucking air. So we, we out of sight. We go down here. We like, damn, you know what it is? What it is? This is shit that just be fucking happening. You dig what I'm saying? And then in the motherfucking chat house, the shit just got crazy. They had a nigga over there that, you know what I'm saying, ain't want to pay. You know what I'm saying? That got on that type of time and it happens like that all the fucking time. And the nigga was strung out on that motherfucking Tom Cross heroin. So niggas is like this. Yo, my nigga, yo, dead ass. If this nigga shit don't come tomorrow, you know what we gonna do to this nigga. We just gonna bang this nigga the fuck out. Know what I'm saying? So the Jets start plotting and shit and scheming. I think they had a couple of brims over there too in the Jets house that was fucking with them and shit. Cause a couple of brims was, was some of the Jets men. So they left the brim house and went over to the Jets house just to be what they mean. So they was like, yo, this is what we gonna do early in the morning when niggas come out for breakfast. Know what I'm saying? And it's like still a little dark before they really turn the lights on and all that shit like that. And niggas just be sitting out there, the TV's on and shit. Know what I'm saying? So niggas wait till the nigga got his little cereal and shit sitting down eating. Know what I'm saying? Niggas just came behind this nigga. Two niggas is in front of him. Two niggas is in the back of him. Know what I'm saying? One niggas on the side. So soon as niggas start eating, so he said, yo, what's up, my nigga? You got that bread? He said, he said, bro, I'm going to make sure a nigga ain't trying to hear that shit. Niggas just hit this nigga in the fucking back of his fucking fucking back, yeah, boom, grab this nigga in the fucking yoke, you know what I'm saying, while this nigga just stabbing the shit out this nigga, boom, 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 these niggas just grabbed this nigga, picked him up, you know what I'm saying, five niggas picked him leg, arm, arm, leg, 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 arm, head, but it ain't Allah, so pick this nigga up, you know what I'm saying, throw this nigga to the fucking gate, that shit the fuck out of here, threw this nigga to the gate, got his, packed this shit, Took his property and threw that shit on top of him. The CEO is like, yo, what the fuck is going on with you all this morning? What the fuck is going on? She didn't even get a chance to spray. That shit happened so fast. Niggas like, we gonna get this nigga the fuck up out of here. Bang this nigga out and just threw this nigga the fuck out of the fucking shit. You dig what I'm saying? And this shit is just summertime and it's getting motherfucking hot and niggas don't know how to fucking act. And the shit just getting brazy, brazy, crazy. That's how motherfucking said. This shit about to get motherfucking hot. You dig what I'm saying? So meanwhile, back in the motherfucking Brim house, niggas got to eat Rickon over there. Some kid came over there talking about, yo, you know what I'm saying? Some type of energy or your niggas and, and this and that and... 
the that and the third. So the nigga was like, yo, bro, check it out. I see y'all niggas getting money. You know what I'm saying? And, and all that shit like that. I see you on the visit. And the nigga, right? Check it out. So before the nigga came down on the visit, one of the brims going to see a shorty that was one of the one of the pink house balls. So this nigga was on a visit. You know what I'm saying? With his 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 people and shit. He ain't have a girl come to see him. So he see Shorty, he tried to holler at Shorty. He tried to say a little something to her and shit before the brim came out. So somebody put the brim on because this nigga was talking shit. He said, all right, when we go back to the fucking house, you already know. So the nigga was like talking shit like, come on, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all pulling in the game. You can't get mad that a nigga try to holler at your bitch. Yeah, that's the town, nigga. This ain't, this ain't motherfucking Rackin' Zone. It ain't jail. Jail, you don't do that shit. Nigga, you get motherfucking killed for trying to talk to a nigga mom's, a nigga sister, a nigga girl. Girl on the fucking visit, nigga. Know what I'm saying? So at the end of the fucking day, they waited till this nigga came back. You dig know what I'm saying? This nigga was motherfucking in his motherfucking in his cell. So the CO came and opened his shit. And soon as motherfucking CO came open shit, niggas up on the second floor on the over the railing. Know what I'm saying? Just waiting for this shit. Soon as that shit opened, soon as the police walked down and shit like that. And son ain't come out yet. He in there washing his face, getting ready to do what he do to come out and all that shit. Five niggas ran up in that motherfucker. Right? Grab this nigga. Right? Grab this motherfucker shit. Shut the fuck up, don't. If you scream, we gon' bang the shit out you. You say, you trying to talk to my bitch. You say, yo, bro, come on. You gotta understand that shit. Regular said, yo, I, you know, it wasn't like that. I thought I knew it from the town. He said, nigga, I ain't trying to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? So when the nigga turned around, the nigga grabbed him in the yo, pulled him down, nigga, cut him fucking on. Shut the fuck up. Right? Shut the fuck up. Bang, bang. So banging this fucking nigga in his fucking head, all up in his fucking chest. You know what I'm saying? Took that nigga. You know what I'm saying? The shit was fucking crazy. Left that nigga. Push that nigga under the fucking bed, you know what I'm saying? Boom, and close the fucking door. Close the fucking gate and left. Niggas dispersed this way, that way, went they cell. Some niggas went down, you know what I'm saying? So next thing you know, this nigga's in this fucking cell for like a day and a half. And then the motherfucking captain came by. He was like, yo, I need to go to the hospital. So he faked it like with some other shit so he don't look like he's snitching. But when he goes down there, you're going to see that he got them holes in him. So now when they see he got the holes in him, they're going to motherfucking be like, yo, they, they shut that shit down for three days. And one nigga lost his cell phone, the other one was good because they had a certain office over there that came and held them down. You dig what I'm saying? So shit just get motherfucking crazy and out of motherfucking control sometime. You dig what I'm saying? I told you in the summertime, this shit about to get crazy, crazy, brazy, and it's getting crazy, crazy, brazy, and niggas is Bugging the fuck out and fucking up the energy. You know if you're making this money, you got to be easy. You know what I'm saying? And shit just be crazy sometimes. Sometimes that shit like that just happens, you heard? So you already know. So then niggas go to the gym. Man, so sometimes, you know, they'll let a house go to the gym and then a few other dudes that work or whatever like that come to the gym. Or you got porters and shit like that. So... We g macking you know what I'm saying? The villains, we g macking we see a motherfucking, a porter. Now, the porter was in another house. Now, this nigga been trying to avoid niggas because he owed niggas money for the motherfucking cigarettes. You dig know what I'm saying? And when we came down there, you could smell that this nigga talk about he ain't got no more of that shit or he didn't take it, but the nigga smelling like hot tobacco. He told me, nah, my man gave me out. We not trying to hear that shit. Where's the money, nigga? Where's the fucking money? This nigga's talking about, yo, bro, I'ma make sure that shit get to you. You keep saying that every time we stop by your house, you keep saying the same shit, but there's a 550 house, ain't really no bloods in there that we really fuck with that's gonna really make moves and get this money for us. You know what I'm saying? So we like, all right, so we come up in there, oh, Christmas time, we see this nigga. We run down on this nigga, niggas is like this. Nah, nah, don't fuck up the vibe. You already know what we going to. Who we got over here? Yo, Dope Fiend City. Get the dope fiends to get them. So we called two niggas that, you know, was on that Tom Cruise. Niggas is like this. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Yo, listen. You know what I'm saying? We always got it on. Just wherever we go, you never know what it, what it is. So niggas keep that shit both. Nigga went to the bathroom. Boom, boom, boom. Put some that shit up. Bing, bing, bing. Me get that shit to the dope fiend. The dope fiend about to put in work. Niggas keep it on them. Gave that shit. Gave that nigga the banger. Both of them niggas went over there. He wasn't expecting it. He only expected it to come from us. The dope fiend went over there while this nigga was motherfucking sweeping. Grabbed this nigga from his fucking feet. Lifted him up. The other nigga, the corner, when he's coming down, put his fucking head 
on in his, his knees in his fucking neck and they start banging this nigga. This nigga came up out of that, start running around the fucking shit. The dope fingers are chasing him. Both of them niggas is on his ass. You dig what I'm saying? The police is like, what the fuck? He ran to the police. The police is like, yo, yo, what the fuck? Yo, chill, yo, my nigga, my nigga, yo, what the fuck? The motherfucking dope fiends came over there and crashed into this nigga and started banging this nigga, hitting this nigga up. So they already got it on them. When they go to the box, they go straight to the box. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. They took that shit. You know what I'm saying? Bang this nigga the fuck out. Went to the motherfucking box. You know what I'm saying? When we came to the box later, we gave him the rest of the shit that we said that we was going to give him. You dig what I'm saying? So you already know it's your boy Stony Rockstore and this and the socket continues and it's still about to get motherfucking popping and ain't no motherfucking stopping. It's your boy Stony Rockstar. Let's continue the motherfucking story. Let's go. So many ways, summertime action. You already know shit is hot. Motherfucking Tom Croft, heroin, me. Niggas is on fire on Ragazzoni, me. Niggas is getting this motherfucking money. Niggas is feeling good. Niggas is confident. Niggas is up. But there's a lot of motherfucking haters. And everybody can't motherfucking eat. Niggas is not content no more with just eating good on the company and being fed and getting high for free. Now everybody wants to. Cut through everybody else to try to get that main position to go down with a bad bitch. You already know how these bad bitches is looking like this. Another one looking like this. The next bitch looking like this. Another one like this. You already know, man. How niggas go. So niggas see that niggas is going down on a visit with bad bitches. And niggas is doing what? Stacking that motherfucking cake. Stacking that motherfucking bread. You already know Harlem style. Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens. You already know. Salute. Let's go. It's your boy, fucking boy, Stony Rock Store. So the next motherfucking shit, this crazy, crazy motherfucking brazy. And niggas is just spinning around and around and around we go. So the next nigga. The niggas g macking in the house, you know what I'm saying? The nigga been trying to get on, he been trying to get plugged in, you dig what I'm saying? He been trying to fuck with a real nigga, he been trying to get on down with the team, you know what I'm saying? He been trying to get money, but he don't know how to act, and he don't know how to be respectful. So when you don't know how to act, you don't know how to be respectful, you gonna get your motherfucking cranium crack around this motherfucker, you dig what I'm saying? So... Everybody is summertime and it's hot and niggas is aggy and niggas ain't satisfied with eating no more with just everybody in the house eating commissary and good food and sharing some of the food that the officers bring in and everybody want to be that number one nigga. You know what I'm saying? Especially the top dogs and when gangsters start to get feel some type of way and gangsters start to get, you know what I'm saying, unruly and the shit just start to pop and get crazy. You already know it's your boy Stony Rock's doing the crazy shit that happens next is the motherfucker. A homie came from the boat and he came to the motherfucking um to the beacon. So niggas all over because you we was trying to send somebody to the boat to get it on, but niggas is like nah. You know what I'm saying? This G Mac and let's chill and make money over here because the number one spot is C95, the dope fiend city. Let's keep that shit popping. You take what I'm saying? So niggas is like, I right, ain't cool, my nigga. So this what we going to do. You dig what I'm saying? So niggas is like, all right, cool. This nigga, he talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's see let's see what he working with. So niggas like, all right, my nigga, what's good? You no, know, where your mind at? You was getting money in the town, nigga. So when you was getting money in the town, all this good shit. So we like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Let me give you a test drop. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Oh, let me see what you doing. Look at your IG. All right, you see what you doing. All right, all right, okay, okay, okay. You got a little shorty coming to see you. That's gonna be a problem. Because now shorty come like that, can you manage that shit? You dig what I'm saying? So the nigga was like, yeah, come on, my nigga like Gallo, because I know you niggas get money trying to be a part of that shit. You dig what I'm saying? So now, put something on with a shorty, a nice little, little something, something, and, and some was maintaining for a couple of weeks. You know what I'm saying? But then the nigga tried to make his own motherfucking power move, and we not tolerating that shit. This nigga tried to plug another in, nigga in, talking to his shorty to get another... Uh um, bitch plugged in and pull him down. Nah, don't nothing go through unless it's mother. You gotta go through chain of command, motherfucker. Know what I'm saying? You trying to make your own power move. So we like this. So of course, shorty, I say, yo, dub that shit. Tell shorty. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. She said, yeah. You know, I totally don't do that shit. So we gonna beat this bitch ass. Know what I'm saying? So they was like, yo. I said, yo, record that shit. I wanna see that shit. 
I want to make sure, you know what I'm saying? She said, I'm, I'm thorough, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure that shit happened. You know what I'm saying? So, Shorty that did that shit to try to make a move on her own without Shorty. And this nigga tried to make a little move on his own without me to try to, you know, store his own shit and, 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 and make shit happen on his own without motherfucking giving them orders and shit like that. So, they had Shorty. They was fucking her up, my nigga. Because, you know, she wasn't loyal to the team. So they taking Shorty and they kicking and pulling her hair and beating the shit on and punching her in the face and telling her to take her clothes off and run down the street and the whole fucking nun. So that shit just got me motherfucking hype. I'm like, all right, who the fuck this nigga think of? I told niggas, show niggas what it is. Niggas just like, you already know it's shut down time. It's three days. But we gonna tear this motherfucker the fuck up. Fuck is wrong with this nigga. Nigga trying to branch off and do his own fucking thing. You fucking crazy nigga. So niggas is like, all right, cool. What are you going to do? We gonna wait till this motherfucker you know what I'm saying? Get ready to go on a visit with his girl, right? And then when a nigga about to step out the door, you think he get ready to float, go down there, chill with his shorty, you dig what I'm saying? Shit like that. So once the nigga was, came down, right? Get ready to go out the motherfucking gate. We gonna fuck that shit up for him. Nigga came from the side, right? And just stabbed this nigga in the fucking head. Bow! Next nigga push this nigga fucking to the gate. Next nigga pull this nigga feet from up on there. Next nigga grab this nigga in the yoke. So one nigga got him by his feet, lift it up. Another nigga got him in the fucking yoke. They pull him to the sideway. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Nigga just stabbing this nigga in his fucking ribs. Boom, boom, boom. This drop this nigga. The gate was already open. He was about to leave. Take that. The CO tried to close the date. Throw that motherfucker out there. Go in your motherfucking visit, nigga. The fuck out of here. It's over. So this nigga was like, oh, shit. This nigga, the CEO was fucking screaming, right? And at the same time, she's smiling and shit because she know, like, this nigga did some foul because all we do is motherfucking chill and G-Mac. You dig what I'm saying? We don't be doing a lot of excess drama and bullshit, you dig? So she already know what time is because we make sure whatever she want, eat food, anything, common service, she just come in her cell and just take that shit. You dig what I'm saying? A little bit of whatever cigarettes, smoke, whatever the fuck she wants, she come and get that shit. You know what I'm saying? And she already know, she already know this nigga and did some fucked up shit. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, yo, CEO, he's like, yeah, you must have did some fucked up shit. Call the motherfucker, yo, get this nigga the fuck up out of here. They came, put this nigga on a stretcher, take this nigga the fuck up out of here. One of the homies that was just coming back, so they had to make him wait because they had the red alert shit. So he came back and he said he saw that nigga on the motherfucking stretcher. He already knew what time it was. You dig what I'm saying? So sometimes shit just get brazy, brazy, crazy. You already know it's your boy Stony Rock Store and ain't no motherfucking fucking around when it comes to getting this motherfucking money, man. Niggas is not fucking playing no games. It's summertime, and I told you the shit is about to get hot, hot, motherfucking hot, hot, hot. Dig what I'm saying? So the next crazy shit happened. You know what I'm saying? Niggas watching TV and shit like that. We don't really fuck with that shit. It ain't really nothing. Sometimes they put movies on and shit like that. Nigga might stand at the top of the balls and shit like that and watch that shit. Some niggas be there and just getting high, be on the phone, g macking You know, niggas be in their cell, talking to shooties on the phone, watching shit on 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 YouTube and all that good shit like that. So this stupid ass nigga that been there forever, right? He wanted to watch the news, right? He used to now put it on the news, but at the same time, something hadn't happened in his town and he wanted to watch it, but these niggas is already watching a movie and it's some dumb shit. And I'm like, yo, at the end of the day, let that nigga watch that shit. It's, it's important to him. You know what I'm saying? Always try to keep the peace, my nigga. If it's important, if something happened to their family or some shit, they see something in the news, let the nigga watch that shit on the phone. Like, what the fuck, my nigga? So niggas is like, so I went back in this, when the room, I closed my door, boom, I'm gone. Niggas like, nigga, stony gone. They like, fuck all that shit. Niggas like, niggas is like, fuck that, fuck that shit. So the nigga popped off with one of the homies, punched him in the face, boom. Fuck, I don't give a fuck about none of you niggas. As soon as he shat that shit, niggas just rushed this nigga. Tackled this nigga on the table. Niggas grabbed his arms, 
Pull this nigga off the fucking table, kicking this nigga in his fucking head. You know what I'm saying? Other niggas stomping this nigga. They like, niggas is gone fucking mad. But it's mostly niggas that's really trying to get on, they're trying to make an impression to show how they really get down. They're trying to get down so they can make some of this real motherfucking bread. The shit is fucking bananas right now. How you ever see niggas that know you a real motherfucker and they just trying to impress you and punch a nigga in the face or try to get down? And then you got other niggas just to this one to show they they loyalty they to to the to the set even though they not villain or they not banging but they living and some you got a few niggas that's a, appreciate living because they ain't had no family and they appreciate but the majority of niggas that think they real niggas and I understand it you know what I'm saying they want to get down shit if if I came there I see niggas Making money like that, I'm going to want to get down too. But at the end of the day, I know how to talk to a nigga with respect. I know how to um politic, you dig what I'm saying? Like, you know, to, to get in. I ain't going to come with no hot shit, no goofy shit. You dig what I'm saying? So a lot of niggas just come with that hot shit, that goofy shit. You dig what I'm saying? And when a nigga come with that hot shit, that goofy shit, he get his neck split quick. You dig what I'm saying? So they, they they took this nigga. He's gone now. They dragged this nigga through the gate, but with his fucking arms, his wrists, ran this, dragged this through the gate. And the police like, yo, crack that shit, boom, pull that nigga out there, close the gate, wait till they come get this nigga. You know what I'm saying? But ain't nobody do the uh, uh, uh to this nigga. So we is all good. They took these niggas out for like what? Like motherfucking... To, 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 to the bullpen for like three, four hours. We thought these niggas was gone. They came back. You know what I'm saying? And shit just be getting crazy, crazy. You already know it's your boy Stony Rockstar. You know what I'm saying? And it's about to get crazier and motherfucking crazier and crazier. You already know. And it doesn't stop and it won't stop. It's your motherfucking BSV. You already know. Salute, salute, salute. Get down to the get down. You already know platinum stone, stone platinum, no stone lifestyle, lifestyle stone rock store. You already know Vito Castro, black gangster. It's your boy Stony Rock Store. Salute.